Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where this guy has been she's been saying this for like 20 minutes. It's crazy. Um but so for, before I forget, I am curious if we're gonna run into that monster hunter. And uh, another thing is, if this is her business model, this is Aunt Ethel's business model. I feel like why would anybody bother her? Like why would he's like it'll be worth the price she asks? I'm like she apparently asks for your eyeballs, and your flesh, and like you know what I mean? I'm like, does it does it, has anybody ever had? A success. Has anybody ever gotten what they wanted when they asked her? Or does she literally just like, I don't know, maybe her business model actually works great. Where she doesn't actually give anybody anything they want. Uh, she just, like, like truly what they want. She just like, has the allure of being somebody who could potentially give you what you want. I don't know. But I feel like... I feel like these people are like cra like a little crazy where it's like why would you do that but I guess if you're pushed to desperation or greed maybe um, but, no desperation only greed I don't get it like no one's ever been successful <laughs> let me try being me I have you feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils it can't let people through not again. I have high charisma. Um, uh, no time to chat. I'm here to kill the hag. A scene appears in your mind. Oh. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door. I am paladin. Shrouded in the glow of the divine. Mm. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? No, oh, dear. that's a decade for each. You're mine for thirty more years, Petra. So, okay, that wasn't like a random cutscene. Okay, when I switched to myself earlier, it like the cutscene triggered as soon as I pushed myself, and I thought I was like having a conversation. Like all of a sudden, like she was. There was two cutscenes going on where like one was talking to me and one was talking to Will. And so I was like, what is going on? But that's probably why there was no sound, is because I messed it up by switching characters right before the cutscene. Um, is there another way in? You see an image of blue skies and sunshine as the door shudders a warning. Run. Hmm. They say failed arcana. Hmm. I could do Oath of the Ancients Persuasion. The hag is a perversion of nature, and I am sworn to strike her down. You have nothing to fear from me. Is she a perversion of nature? I guess she is. Because a part of me is like, well, the tadpoles are like a perversion of nature, apparently, but they're also like, you know, they're like organic creatures, you know? I don't know if... I think that's more of a... Circle of Spores Druid. I don't know why that was so hard. Um, where they're like, eh, like they're more in like the entropic side of things. But honestly, I do think she is like she, she takes things and twists them. And like nature doesn't really twist things. Nature does what it like. You know, there's there's entropy, there's decay, you know. But it doesn't like contort and distort and like make evil. I guess there's that, right? She has intent, whereas nature is just like doing its job, but she has an evil intent. Yeah, okay, all right, I'm talking myself. I'm talking myself into it, okay. <laughs> yes, hag is perversion of nature, and I, with my oath of the ancients, am sworn to strike her down. You have nothing to fear from me. Please. Oh boy, good. Yay. The door shudders, imagining its wooden frame cracking and splintering in a raging inferno. I mean... You see the hag. She walks through the door, oh. its form shimmering. With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. You feel the presence within shrink, terrified. Oh, so I slipped through, like I... I realize, apparently, Stop. like that it... Please. Like how to get through, but it didn't mean Please. to do that. I guess. Uh, well, um, Wait. Wait. I did see this in the spoilers. I think you just 
Don't look. Go... Don't yeah, okay, I was like, I wasn't sure how, but yeah, you can... You can just go through, technically. I do want... What am I trying to do here? I... I understand the door's fear. Uh, his fear, I think it was a man. Um, originally. But, she's never gonna let him go. Like, that's the thing I'm thinking, you know? Mask of Vengeance. Hold on a second. What we just got... Will... Gale... Carlac. I'm going to save, but I did see something. Again, my bad on the spoilers. Hello, Petra. My, my. The mask suits you. Just relax. See the world with fresh eyes. I'm just curious. Like, I saved before this. And let your dear old Auntie Esther look after you. I am curious what this does. Ephemeral whispers. I have to make wisdom saves. Oh, uh, what did we fail? The stench of rot is a slap oh. to the face. Suddenly she is there, beside you, behind you, inside oh, you. No. Yes. Has she possessed no. me? Don't worry. Auntie is going to take good care of you. Okay, Whew, I was gonna say, is this a perversion of nature thing? Is this one of those things that might count towards me being an oath breaker? Because so far I am enjoying Oath of the Ancients, so I kind of want to keep it. But, um, if my actions lead to the oath breaker, that's how it is. Uh, focus on your oath as you try to wrest control from the hag. And I have advantage. Go. <gasps> yes! Oh. Ha! That hurt you, little <laughs> Yes! But I don't need the mask to crack that little mind of yours like an egg. See you soon. Petro. I actually didn't know any of that. Um can think again. I did see that um, what was that? Oh, is there a person over there? Um, I did see that it might help you walk through without being attacked. But now, I'm not sure if every single one of my companions is gonna have to make the charisma save. We have a fairly charismatic group, though. Let's see how it goes. Everything's changed. Okay. Uh. I feel like I'd rather get I'd rather get it over now. Yeah. Are we? Damn it! Get out of my head! Oh dang! Well, how do you do... I, I know there was a thing about non-lethal damage. Where did that go? Okay, I told on non-lethal. But I was just gonna try to... Oh, he did the thing. I don't want to deal with that. Uh, we'll see if I can get through with just myself. And there's no point in putting the masks on if I don't get to have the cutscenes with all of them. Um, when they fail, because they will eventually fail, statistically. The dice rolls can't be perfect all the time. Don't waste a step.
Ah. Uh. Why? What's the point of having the masks on? Oh. Even though I have the mask on. I don't really know what the point of the mask is then. Oh, I think the idea must be that these people don't have control over themselves because of the mask. So... So I would activate non-lethal damage? Nope. This has to be from Dang them. it! <sighs> I meant to it's make him six. jump. Oh, we knocked her out. Excellent. Wow, we did it. Give me more shield, oh boy. I also get momentum because of that. Okay, I just looked it up because I'm bad at the video game and I want to enjoy it. So <laughs> I'm just going to look things up. Um, the whispering mask was apparently to get through the door easily. Um, and then they say, take it off when you get to the other side so you don't fall into lunacy. But take that, I didn't fall into lunacy. But I'm definitely not going to make anybody else wear it. Because apparently when I'm wearing it, at least according to the little, yeah, little icons, I can see... I can see things with the unaided eye, or hidden objects with the unaided eye. Uh, I am going to try to enter... I need you to be by yourself. Sure awaits. I'm gonna see if I can sneak him up over here. Oh yes. Oh, so you're a healer type. Okay, cool. Love that for us. I'll break them. Wow. Uh, Will is getting wrecked. This isn't good. Okay. They are knocked out, though. And we are taking your mask. Okay. Oh! Are you serious? Oh, I'm not reloading. But taking the mask off killed them? I thought I... That doesn't make any sense. Well, now I'm worried about what will happen when I try to remove mine. I do feel like it would be car-like, though. It would be like, oh, we got him! Like, now we can take the mask off, and she, like, ripped the mask off. And maybe somebody would have an inkling and be like, wait, no. Because she'd be trying to help, right? And then she'd kill him inadvertently. Uh, so, but yeah, this fight is really hard. I've reloaded several times. I am not having a good time. I hate missing a spell when I'm a wizard with no spells. I won't! As long as she stays away for now, we're good. Ow! Death's closer. Oh my gosh, it is. What happened to me? What? They keep doing that. She literally just climbed up to do that and then freaking. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's also, I think we are, there's like a poison fog thing. I don't know how to clear it. Oh, I do actually know how to clear it, never mind. But, it's, I don't know, like, I don't know if there's an actual poison fog. Is that, is that what killed me? Um... They get to do that. I do not like that. Why do you get to do that? See? 
They said it. They said to get the mask off, and I freaking did, and it killed him. Step to it. I, I, am I standing in freaking, oh my gosh. Well, what I need to do then is, how am I, I don't really see, I don't even see like a poison anything here. Oh no, it's the, um, yes, I need to get rid of that. Okay, but we've restarted the death counter. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We'll let that wear out for new for nar. The thing is, I need to go. I think I need to go take care of this woman. Like, I, I would like to focus everybody on the same target. Like, that's smarter. But actually, hang on. Can I? Holy, what? No, 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 no. From there, she do be healing. Save poison cloud. Oh, okay, that's me sprinting. That's the poison cloud. Covered. Good to know. Oh, he's covered in poison. Awesome. Uh, I do know what to do to the poison cloud. Get off. Dang it. She's freaking... I'm not at quite the right angle. She's kind of in the angle, and she's kind of in the wall. So, I feel like I can't be blamed for that. Don't stop cursing the dead body. Oh, okay, it's not the dead body. Okay. Actually, what we're gonna do is back out here a little. Take this! And okay, I thought I thought poison gas was flammable, but apparently poison gas is not flammable, and we wasted. Oh, we wasted. Wasted stuff. Love that for me. All right, got that one. <clears throat> Wait, why is she dead? We were doing non-lethal da- Okay, I don't- Apparently arrows don't count as non-lethal damage, but uh, I'm not gonna- I'm on my way. Um, what? Well, that just went horribly. Two of the five died and Will died for whatever reason. I'm gonna try to remove the- no, I'm gonna keep the mask Calm on for down. this room. While I look for things, maybe? <laughs> Faded note. She's got decent health. Health. Read this every morning. Remember, she's not your friend. She's not your family. Do not eat the food unless she is watching. Do not drink the tea unless she is watching. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. The word lies is written in large, thick letters across the text. I just had to walk away for a bit just because uh, some stuff came up. Like, my boss came by really quick. Freaking, it is still like, I don't know, it's 8 o'clock at night, and I don't know how it is still like 90 degrees outside. Also, we're taking a long rest. I don't think a short rest is enough for us to get through. I need my spells back, or, you know, everybody needs their spells back. And honestly, I should maybe, like, not bring Will out. He's kind of... I like his stuff, and I like the hellish rebuke. Also, I don't know what the point of this mask is, so I'm taking it off. If I can. Okay, we're fine. We're good. Like, I didn't see anything with uncanny sight right yet. Maybe I'll put it on later and see if I get possessed again later, but uh, I don't want to wear it right now. I hate taking so many long rests, because again, I've actually been feeling kind of stressed. About the not, you know, about, um, what do you call it? Having this tadpole in our heads. And I feel like bad things are going to happen to me if I take too many long rests. But 
while a party member is in the oh that's right okay so for whatever reason okay Carlac <laughs> hasn't seen fit to rejoin us not really is she blocked from the I think she's blocked because of this person everybody off alas the others got stuck In the dangers. Oh, is this the danger zone? We can't take a nighty night because we're in the danger zone. How about a short rest? Oh, I'll fill that one later. Okay, well, okay, we're doing this then. Um, no, everybody stop coming up here. I have like no health potions. Everything's buck wild. What path lies before me? Okay, I say this. But I don't know how to get out. I think I only saved two people out of all of them. Oh well. I don't know what I did, but I did my best is what I did. <clears throat> eh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody calm down. Watch yourself. Yeah. I spy a oh, do ya? Oh, these are the gas vents that we throw stuff on. Okay. Oh, I swear I picked up the rocks. Was that one of my previous gazillion other saves? Hmm. Oh, no, and this is the one. Okay, I did think you could light poison on fire, but apparently... Nay. But these, this is like more of a fume. So we could maybe light this on fire. I'm not sure, does this count? Nope, okay. That was a cantrip, so I don't mind. This is... Lovely day, this. Oh, Gale's is firebolt, so cantrip. Okay. Oh, come on! No now it's noxious fumes and fire. Teehee. <laughs> Could I... Will remove clouds. I mean, I don't care. That wasn't a cloud, apparently. Daily noxious fumes don't count as a cloud. Love that. For me, I'm not wasting... A scroll if it's not gonna actually work. Uh, what if I throw water on it? I still have the voice of reason, reason, sorry I can't talk, where my oath echoes in your mind keeping Auntie Ethel's whispers at bay. For now, I did take, um, I did take the mask off, but that might not, uh, that might, it might be too late, essentially. Okay, I didn't think this would work, but apparently you can put any item on top of them with mage hand. Here's how that's so funny that like or like like I don't know not that long ago I was like like today as recording I was like hmm, what's good is what good is mage hand like I'm sure it'll be useful in some situations but lost it's in thought never been useful in combat but uh, potentially in traps and apparently most noxious fumes are explosive except for these ones of course so. I'm going to be using Mage Hand to take an object from my own inventory and putting it on top of the vent. Alright, this so is my first time using Mage Hand. No, I just want to pick it up. <gasps> oh. <gasps> okay. Okay. Interesting. Let's have. Don't burn yourself. Don't burn yourself. Let's see if she can disarm it. She's got a higher dexterity than I do. This will be fun. Oh, please. Okay. I'm not actually. I am not actually sure if we need to disarm these. Um. But we're gonna. This 
Oh jeez, I need to like a big drop in quick saves like flies here. <gasps> I should get something for that. I feel like I should, every time I see a nat 20, I think I should get something for that. Get a little treat. I am not sure. Oh, I see. Okay. While I'm at it. This will be fun. Okay. Oh, I have the magic touch. Oh, well, apparently you do. And apparently you need a nap to use that again. And we can't. So that's just awesome. Why did they recommend Mage Hand? I have no spells left. Like, what? Am I, should I just leave? Maybe I should just leave and go to sleep. Step by step. And just really freaking hope that this thing stays, that nobody decides to change their mind. And like re reload in enemies, you know? Oops. Like I definitely feel like, ooh, look at that. A potion of invisibility. Hey, health potions, how about that? Like, I don't know how people get through this. I don't know how Stop. people get through this. Why do Please. I why I don't enunciate Please. at all? And I need to practice enunciating. Wait. Wait. Oh, I thought I was like, where did they all go? I thought I was missing one. Oh no, if we go out though, ugh, hit the F five. Also going out and taking a whole night to sleep might kill the woman, but like the woman we're trying to save. But also out here are a bunch of angry red caps, so My dogs are barking. Can we rest? Yeah, my dog I say that! I say that in real life. This is out like the other side? <gasps> oh, I see. Oh, okay, 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 I see. I could just go crazy and loot her house. Anyway, we're going. Yes. You carry a Githyanki relic. I will have an explanation. Okay. Or your head. Shadowheart. Walk away now. I won't warn you again. Two half-dressed women arguing. Classic. Um. Let them settle their differences and go to sleep. If somebody will die. Relic. This is about that artifact, isn't it? That artifact is an heirloom of my people. Likely she spilled Githyanki blood in order to steal it. This cannot stand. Heirloom? Plunder from some conquered realm, more like. This artifact is the only thing keeping us from becoming slaves to our parasites. Be glad I have it. She's not wrong, not wrong. Does she have a thigh gap? In that case, she goes to the bottom of my list of people I want to romance ever. Um, I mean, we already we already know why they're arguing. I feel like some of the questions I ask are stupid. What's going on? Why are you two arguing? Lozelle thinks I have something important to her people. She's deluded, clear lies. She carries an heirloom of my. We already people. knew this. I must know why. Why do I ask like the same questions? Um, any idea? Okay, uh, I mean, their ideas are gonna be crummy to how we settle it. Stop this, no sense in us fighting with each other. Incorrect. <laughs> Judicious bloodletting settles feuds and roots out the weak, the deceitful. Do you hear this, tribe? Our lives are at stake, and she wants us to turn on you. Why is this my decision? No Just you and me. Uh, do they want to have a fight over? I mean, okay, so they're both, they're not wrong. She freaking stole it, and by s saying that you probably stole it from another realm is sort of inconsequential at this point. Um, but it's also kind of silly that Lazelle would bring it up right now, because it is the only thing keeping us alive. However... Her holding it and it keeping us alive is better probably in her mind than Shadowheart holding it and keeping us alive. Or keeping us sane, you know? Any idea how we settle this? 
The bad blood must be purged. A jewel come first light. You mean I'd get to prove you wrong and thrash you? I love it. Get some rest, Laser. Oh, You'll need is that it. what we're doing? Why don't they just go their separate ways? You had every chance to look the other way. But here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward. If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. I'm right here! Shadow art. Yeah, just... Calm down. Why is this... Why is she... I, 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 I feel like I'm missing some context for things. Like, I get it. She's, like, really hyper. Like, I have to get this back to my people or whatever. I have to get this back so Shark gives me back my memories. But, like... Uh, I don't know. Like, they're just kind of fighting and it's kind of pointless right now. And also, I'm pretty sure Lizelle could just throw her right now. She's a liability. It's the artifact we need, not her. Let me up and I'll show you. Hmm, okay. Uh, we need her, Shadowheart. Give her a chance. Can I do that, Lazel? Can I turn my back on you? No. Never. Thieves aren't afforded such luxury. Loosen the grip on your pride for one blasted moment, won't you? We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay. Okay. This act, that went way better than I thought it but would. Imagine what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes instead of each other. They wouldn't stand a chance. Oh, she likes that. She liked that. <sighs> Okay, I didn't get a chance to talk to anybody at night. We just went ahead and slept. I guess we were kind of sleeping in the cutscene. Okay, that actually went way better than I thought it would. And for whatever reason, Shadowheart really... She doesn't want to kill Lazelle. But she's upset with the gift because of what they did to her people. But her people were stealing the gift stuff. Not that it excuses the gift actions either, but... Ah, uh, but geez. Um, that went that went really, really well. I don't. It kind of was like shockingly well. Like Liz or Shadowheart really didn't want to hurt her. She and she even said like you had every chance to turn away, and it was kind of Lizelle's pride and like inflexibility that was pushing it. Shadowheart wouldn't have pushed this if Lizelle hadn't brought it up, you know. But she wasn't wrong. That probably gift blood was spilled and. Get the artifact, you know, so interesting, interesting. Save. <laughs> See, this is why I'm afraid to go to sleep at night because stuff happens. Maybe it will bring us closer. <gasps> Maybe it'll bring Very us glad glasses. Shadowheart and Lazelle settled things without letting any blood. I would have enjoyed the spectacle, but not losing either one of those lunatics. Yeah. I feel like this is just the same stuff over and over again. Why is she? She and she's so lovable. She's very lovable. You, you're an a-hole. I don't care. Oh, I really thought Shadowheart and Lazel might fight to the death over that artifact. A pity. It would have made for a fine night's entertainment. I just, I just kiss. <laughs> like it's totally typical of him. Is she drunk? Speak. Okay, not drunk. About your quarrel. It is over where I am concerned. Uh, that's a relief. We, I'm, 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 as my friend Lemonzy says, I'm such a square. <laughs> so that's a relief. We won't survive this if we don't stand together. It is through conflict that we strengthen our that's bonds. No, no. Yet I do not recommend Shadowheart seek it again. The next resolution may not end in her favor. 
So are you guys getting close to them because you keep arguing? Oh, you gotta keep an eye on that. Okay, bye. Halson, sorry to see uh, some some domestic issues. You wish to speak? Uh, you're still feeling well? With such stimulating company? <laughs> Never better. I don't, is he like looking in my eyes when he says that or? <laughs> I think he is actually a little taller than me. Which I'm not used to in this character. I am very much enjoying being taller than most people. I hope that's the end of this silly quarrel. They'll have no energy for battling our enemies if Lazel and Shadowheart are too busy squabbling among themselves. I do think it's kind of funny. It's kind of like, uh, like it's the two, it's the two, two of the women that are like nagging at each other and in, in like the cat fighting, like. That sort of has like a the old school, well not old school necessarily, but the the weird idea that men seem to some men seem to have that like women can't. If there's two women in a room, they can't get along, and it's like I'm far more likely to trust and get along with another woman than I am with like a random man, you know? Like you guys have such weird concepts about women like competing for a men's affection. I'll say one thing for our troop: we're not short on drama. I'm glad Shadowheart and Lazel settled their differences peacefully. Eventually. Kind of. Kind of. Oh, Shadowheart is all off on her own lonesome. Shadowheart, where are you? Why is Shadowheart... She's not always by herself. Sometimes she's next to Lazel and it's like, oh, okay, hi. There's something I want to talk to oh, you about. Oh, okay. Something important. Well, now I'm intrigued. Do continue. I could have died in that pod, back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. Okay. Twice over, in fact. Oh. You supported me against Lazel. I may not have survived that night without you. I'm trying to say... That you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about okay. me. Okay. At least from what I can remember. All right, it's cool. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justice. Oh no! There is scarcely a greater way to fully oh, dedicate no. yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a Dark Justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm. Her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. Uh -huh. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my... Mother, mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... inscrutable. So you want to become a terrorist? <laughs> oh my gosh. Like I have vague remember. We have a there's a book in the game that talks about them being real big meanies, real big meanies. But I can't remember. I cannot remember what it is exactly. So maybe not a terrorist, but uh, not nice. Not nice people. Um, that was a loaded nut. I don't understand why be so secret about such an. Well, no, okay. We do know why that's a secret ambition. Do you think she'll ever relent and make you a Dark Justicar? Or just to see her? I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate. Hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion. A distraction. For this, I hope my time will yet come. Well, she seems very dedicated. We'll ask, I guess, because it's there. 
I don't understand why it'd be so secret about such, a, such an ambition. Dark Justicias are hated by many, judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely bulk at a Justicia in their midst. But there's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded oh. me. Oh! Now, I can't get it out of my Is mind. Is it fading? The memory repression? Well, thank you for sharing. I want to talk about what happened with Blazel. <laughs> we aren't dear friends now, if that's what you're asking. But I trust we can all sleep a little more soundly in camp now. I don't... I did not really get that impression. I just... I'm not exactly sure what Shadowheart said to make Lazelle go sure, except for the fact that she really did seem to sincerely think that if they worked together, that they would be unstoppable, and Lazelle seemed quite taken aback by that. Um, I am kind of surprised you didn't leave. And get murdered by a pack of goblins or gnolls instead. Lazelle might be a reluctant ally, but she is good at killing. I'll point her in their direction. Oh, join me. Want to talk about all that's happened to us? Fine. What's on your mind? Uh, what do you think about what happened in the Druid Grove? I suppose some would commend our actions. Goblins would have raised that whole place to nothing if it weren't for us. No excuse to rest on our laurels, though. We've still got our own problems to contend with. Well, that was very vague. Okay, bye. Ah. In interest of fighting the lair of the Dark Justicier, an elite force dedicated to her goddess Shar. I don't get it. She's like pure darkness, blah, blah. I'm like, why can't, why can't you just live in balance, you know? Why can't you just have, like, the moon and the darkness? You can't have darkness without light. You cannot have light without darkness. Like, people pushing things to the extremes are always just... Such little oddballs to me. I desperately need a shopkeeper. Also, at the night time, I didn't have to eat any food. It didn't make me eat food. I don't want to bring him out, but I think I need a Starion. Need something? Darling, I thought you'd never ask. <clears throat> Lead on. If he was actually nice to me. But he's not. Don't touch me, he says. I oh, listen, buddy, I'm giving you some new armor, so. So everybody's clothes have t subtext, right? Asterian's underwear it says, embroidered into the cloth. If you're reading this, you manage to bed or behead me. Either way, you got lucky. I really don't, like, there's no, I have nothing else I can really give him. He's got the best daggers I think I have available. Oh, I will, I was looking yeah, at, um, I was looking at giving him these. He looks ridiculous. Perfect. No one stopped me yet. Oops, 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 oops. Wait, didn't I already do that? I already, I already did that. Oh, I just need to leave. All in tree. What? Oh, I can just sit like a maniac. I don't want to like. How do I just leave? I don't want to end the day. I want to just leave camp. Leave camp. And with that, we'll go ahead and stop there. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of my patrons, including my acorns. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And thank you, Adam. Thank you for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. It truly means a lot. Thank you so much. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I just cannot thank you enough, honestly. Thank you so much for putting up with me and being so supportive and being very nice. <laughs> so thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.